Well, there's a good chance you've used internet security software with his name on it, but this technology entrepreneur is also running as US presidential candidate for 2020. He did so in 2016. He's got lots to say about cryptocurrency. He's coming to Australia later this month. And John McAfee joins me right now. Hi, John. Hey, how are you doing, sir? I'm really good. Now, you're a, you're a man on the run, they say. Tell me about that. Well, I... Uh, um... I have run afoul. I am always running afoul of governments. I speak my mind, and if I see corruption anywhere, I want to point it out. Well, you know, people don't like that. But in this case, um, in in America, um, the Libertarian Party and many others believe that that income taxes are illegal. Our Constitution flat out forbids it. They had an amendment in 1913 to create it for the first time. Prior to 1913, we didn't have income taxes. And there are 35 countries in the world that have no income taxes. In any case, I think it is illegal. Um, it is an unlawful law. Therefore, for the past 10 years, I haven't paid. I haven't filed. Uh, I send letters to the government saying, to the IRS saying, uh, I'm not filing. I have no intention of paying. Uh, do what you wish. And they've left me alone for eight years. Finally, uh, two years ago, I started talking about how cryptocurrency can free people from financial control, from regulatory bodies, from banks, and from the IRS. Well, they didn't like that. Uh, so on the 22nd of January of this year, uh, they convened a grand jury to indict myself, my wife, and four of my workers with unspecified tax evasion charges. Now, in America, it's not illegal not to file. I mean, the IRS can come and take your house and your car, but it's not illegal not to file. Um, and if I have not filed, how can I commit fraud? Because I haven't said anything that's either true or untrue. I've said nothing. So it's it's a bogus thing. They're just trying to shut me up, uh, either to shake me down and say, if you do this again, you know, you're in deep shit, or to put me in prison where I can't be heard. And neither one of those options interests me. So Janice and I are in an undisclosed location, in an undisclosed part of the world, uh, in a Faraday cage communication room uh, with signal jammers, and no one is ever going to find us. We do not carry cell phones when we leave this room. We carry no electronic devices, um, and that's how we have to live, at least for the short term. So because of everything you have just mentioned, is that why you are then again running uh, as a candidate for uh, for the U.S.? Yeah, but I have no one. Listen, no one in their right mind could believe I could ever be president. I mean, I'm trying to actively look at my history for fuck's sake, people. It's not happening. However, I still have the right to run. And running gets access to the national stage. I ran in 2016, got on the national stage, did national debates, um, got to say my piece. This year, I have something far more important to say about the system that is strangling democracy in America. And I need the national stage to do that. That's why I'm running. Good God, I don't want to be president. That's the worst <laughs> job in the world. Good Lord, man. Okay, so you are quite the advocate for cryptocurrencies. You've got a lot to say uh, about it. If you anyone follows you on Twitter, they will, they will see a, a lot of that. For those who are just finding out about cryptocurrency for the first time, what words of advice do you have for them? Be responsible uh, because there is no one here in cryptocurrency to protect you. This is an uncontrolled environment. Trustless because you don't need trust. But if you fuck something up and send somebody to a wrong address and money to a wrong address, do not expect to get it back unless whoever you send it to is an upstanding individual and says, oh, okay, here it is back. If you lose your smartphone and your wallet is on your smartphone and you did not bother to write down your keys, I'm sorry, you've lost your money. So you need to be responsible and you need to educate yourself. I mean, it's a wild west out there. It doesn't take long, half a day. Go to Google, type in cryptocurrencies, find something that looks interesting, read it, and keep pressing links until you understand what's happened. After that, be my guest and do what you want, but be prepared. This is not a system that protects you. 
It's a system that frees you to different things. So when you uh, join us in uh, in Sydney a little bit later this month, along with some other big names in the tech sector, is is that mostly what you're going to be uh, discussing, crypto? Yes, I'll be discussing crypto, but mostly crypto as it relates to the relationship between sovereign individuals and their governments. Because that's the hot button for me, and that's what's gotten me into all this trouble, so I'm not abandoning it just because I'm on the run from governments that don't like what I say. So this will be the theme for my talk, and I, I hope it'll be interesting for you. Okay, now I've heard you talk a lot about Bitcoin. You're, you're a fan of Bitcoin, I guess the original cryptocurrency. Uh, do you have any other favorites in that space at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a privacy coin advocate, so Monero is, is at the top of my list, uh, and Apollo, Zcash, Safex, all the privacy coins, because I think that's where the universe is heading. Um, the uh, other coins, oh, here's one, DAI. Uh, it's a stable coin, never varies more than 1% from the US dollar. How they did that is near magic, but it's based on smart contracts on the blockchain on the ethereum blockchain and it works it's never more than one percent to one penny uh, higher or one penny lower it, it varies between 99 cents and a dollar one as a result you can't pump it there's no way to to make money from it but what's happening now is people want to get out of the market they have no option but to cash out to get fiat with dai you don't have to worry about your fiat convert to dai it's going to be totally safe. You're not going to make any money, but neither are you going to lose any until you feel the market is more stable. So I think stable coins like DAI will be the first to replace the US dollar. Excellent. Well, uh, John, as you mentioned, everyone should do their research on that. I really do appreciate the, uh, the chat today, and we do look forward to seeing you in Australia in the next couple of weeks. All the best. All right. Thank you very much. And good day. <laughs> good day to you. See you later.